Yeah, I think、uh, for us it's great to have two people. So we always say, like, when, we, when, when I'm talking about my story, Robert serves sort of like objective view. And even though it becomes so personal that he, your job is to really make sure that you, you see it from an objective perspective, so that is this something that we would like to share more from an objective point of view? Like, if it's all subjective about the Topic, then it becomes really difficult. Can we actually communicate? Do people understand this? Do people really need to hear this? But if, if the person who is seeing the topic from objective point of view sees the no, I think it's an interesting story. I think it's worth telling this story. Then there's something that we can work towards. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's interesting. We're talking a lot about the message and about you know, where the stories come from. And, but also, it has to be entertaining, right? There has to be a balance.、It's, we can't just make public service announcements、um, because they're, they can be preachy and they can be like, you know, not that entertaining,、um, even though the message is super important. So, for us, between the two of us, I feel like we always try to strike that balance somehow. Is it entertaining? Is it worth saying? Those are things we're always asking ourselves. And, you know, we've all seen films too that are. Just entertaining thrill rides that you watch for two hours, but then you walk out and you're like, what, what did I just watch? And oh well, let's go to IKEA. Like, it's, it's kind of one of those things that I feel like the part that I like about the Tonko House therapy thing, like us sitting down and talking, is a lot of the things that we talk about are things that like, I haven't shared with my wife or Dice hasn't shared with his wife, and you know, my best friends may not know about me. And that's really hard. Like, Dice and I worked together professionally for about seven years, and <clears throat> he's someone I respect. But then to go into a room and be like, okay, like, this is like the most regrettable thing I've ever done. This is something that I just live with, and you know, I would take back in a heartbeat, and it's changed like, who I am. To be able to say that to someone that you work with and like, you want to build something with is hard. But also, if you can't do it there, then how are you going to make a film where you share that with everybody on some scale? So it kind of starts there with like someone that you really trust and you're kind of putting it out there. And that's the hard part to me. It's like when Dice shares the story about where he is, the difficulty is with him, not with me. I'm just kind of like, is it going to be entertaining? Is it not? But to be vulnerable and to kind of put yourself out there and say, like, look, this is, this is me for better or for worse. I feel like as artists, you know, we all should find that place where we're taking a risk. You know, just it feels right to me. Like when you're making something, there's this kind of nice balance where you just feel like, should we be making this? Should we be saying this? Like,、oh, if we're making a kid's show, should we scare them? Like, is that okay? Like, when is it okay? When is it not okay? And it's, it's that kind of thing for us that like we're trying to find the core of something so that we can adjust how we message it. We feel like, you know, working with a team, it's always, that's so important, is like having like a core message, a core idea that you're trying to deliver.